If you're interested in um, skinning and you want to change um, texture files within um, a skin, what you need to do is you need to extract the skin. So I'm going to show you how quickly. So this is Cody looks like, what Cody looks like now. We're going to go here, Cody Wiki. I'm going to put the um, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm also I'll put it in the notes for the video as well. What you need to do is download this, the texture tool. Now, I've already downloaded it, so we're going to have a look. Now, just to show you quickly, here's my Cody. You go to add-ons, and your add-on, I'm using Silvo. And if you go to media, this is what you're going to see. It's a textures file. You can't change anything in it. You need to extract it. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. One of the first things you need to do though is make sure that your Kodi is closed. And then we're going to open the tool. Now you can save this anywhere you want, but I'm going to show you what I do. So when we're decompiling, you'll select the input, which is the textures file. Select the output. Now, I'm going to go back to media. I like using this folder again. And then they're right inside where they're supposed to be. And then hit start. Now, this only takes a minute. Okay, now that you can see it's done, first thing you need to do is you need to close this. And another thing that's important here is you need to go down and you'll see that the textures file is still in here. Now, if you leave it in, what happens is when you do changes, you don't see anything in Kodi. And the reason is because it's using this as the default instead of these. So best thing to do is to slide it out somewhere safe. And then you're good to go. So now your textures are all ready to rock and roll. And just to show you something really quick, I'm going to change something quickly and then show you. So. I'm going to use the home menu back. Now that is the main menu bar. So if you open it in Photoshop or whatever it is you're using, you can just change it. I'm just going to do a quick thing here. So I'll just make it yellow. And I'll save it. And as you can see, it changes the color in here. And it's yellow. Change it to pink. Save it. And if you have key maps installed, function F5 changes it right away. Now, if you're happy with what you've done and you like what you've done with all the textures and anything else that's in here, but the textures, what you can do is you can compile it then. You've decompiled it so that you can use it. Now we're going to compile it again. So, all we need to do for that is close Cody. Actually, Close that too. Doesn't like to have anything open. So close Cody and open the, the texture tool again. This time we're going to use the compile mode down here. So select the input folder. This media folder again. Select output file. Well, we're going to put it back in this media folder. Can you start? And now that it's done, you just close it and go to your Kodi folder. And you'll see now at the bottom there's another textures. Just delete all of these out. And you're good to go.
and you'll see your coding now has this one. Now this is a cool thing too, is because you can decompile it and say you wanted a pink one and then you wanted a red one. When you're compiling it back again, you can name it whatever you want. Textures is the default, so that'll be what'll boot up right away. But you can also go into your Kodi, and if you had another texture here, uh, say one that was just called blue, then all you would have to do is interface. And right here, you'd be able to click on theme. You can't right now because there's only one. But if you had two in there, you'd be able to click on it and open it, and it would say default, and it would say blue. So hope you like using the texture tool.